Welcome back to The Lost Digit. Today, we're looking at a shock sensor. All you need for this is an Arduino, three jumper wires, and a shock sensor. Now the way this works is it has three signals. One is a signal out, and then the next one is a five volt in, and then a ground. And this can be used for a range of things, such as being placed inside of a vehicle so that if it's shaken or someone's trying to break in, you know, you could detect it. Or you could place it on a wall in a house just to detect shock. So all you need to do is connect the ground, the 5 volt, and the signal to digital pin 3. After that, connect the respective cables to the sensor. So we'll put the signal on the left where the S is and then 5 volts and ground. That's all you really need to do to get the sample code up and running. The way it works is that if you apply a shock to it, it's not just about shaking but a quick shock, it will be able to detect it and the signal will be pulled low. So if you head over to the GitHub link below, you'll be able to get the code for the shock sensor. The way this works is we start off by initializing the pin which we are placing the shock sensor output to as an input on the Arduino. Then we initialize a variable to store the reading and then we set up the Arduino. So we start with the serial connection and then we put where the shock pin, pin 3, is an input. Then we do a loop where it runs infinitely and we have a delay of one millisecond so that it does a thousand readings per second. And then we read the sh shock pin. So we read from the sensor and check, you know, if a shock occurred. So if it's pulled low, then we print shock detected. We just say resetting, we delay half a second, and then we keep reading. So this just keeps looping infinitely until you unplug the Arduino, of course. So if you plug it in, you upload, and then open the serial monitor after everything's connected you should see this blank serial monitor. And the way we wrote the code is if there's a shock, it'll print shock detected. So you could use the signal of shock detected um, to say send you an email or sound an alarm. So I try and I show you that shaking it doesn't produce a low reading, but it has to be a quick vibration or shock. So this could distinguish from you know the swaying of an object versus someone breaking a window for instance. It's a relatively simple sensor to use and if you have any cool projects that you do with one or need any help let me know in the comments below and always let me know what other sensors you'd like to see. Please be sure to like and subscribe for future videos and see you in the next one.